Well, good morning, pharmacy aficionados. Welcome back again this month to www.salesystem.com.au. My name is Glenn Guilfoyle, and I head up the specialist pharmacy services group called The Next Level. And we come to you each month in this form, both written and short video clip with some uh, different uh, little morsel for you to cogitate over in your pursuit of uh, the perfect forward pharmacy service model. And this month I want to circle back onto a topic we covered uh, three or four months ago, uh, but come at it at a different uh, angle. And this is what we at the next level call strategic rostering in the environment of a forward pharmacy service model. So I'm actually going to link three incredibly important uh, critical elements together. Your forward pharmacy service model, linking that to your rostering, and then linking both of those to your commercial target setting. So here we go. Having traveled around India last year around the classic golden triangle, I actually think about that when I think about this trilogy or this triangle of pharmacy critical um, aspects of uh, the new world of service delivery. There are five main steps in tailoring your forward pharmacy model. Firstly, uh, benchmark your resourcing level, both uh, absolute and mix. And then secondly, set your min-max levels of your resourcing levels by roll type within the mix in accordance to the ebbs and flows of your classic customer flow traffic patterns. And in so doing, then adjust your team size and mix to serve the health part of your pharmacy accordingly. This is critical for your competitiveness and the richness of the service model you aspire to deliver to your health customers. Thirdly, determine the level of your service specialisation, thinking about script, script in service, script out service and OTC service, and the degree to which you want to separate those by location, or to which the degree to which you want to combine any of those at a single uh, service location. Having decided that, think about your counter dedication, i.e. the configuration of counters and the degree to which they are or are not subdivided in support of your service specialisation. All this, of course, should be done in the name of creating a very consistent workflow over the back with your staff, the paperwork and the meds, and a very consistent, almost mirror image, customer traffic flow on the other side of the counters uh, to promote uh, efficiency of their movement in and out of your pharmacy to open up your aisles uh, and, and the product real estate there and the effectiveness of private conversations uh, at your, at your uh, service counters. Um, then the final part of, uh, of, the, of this piece, the, the forward pharmacy piece, is to then actually start to shuffle uh, your, your team members by role type almost like your pieces on a chessboard in an attempt to set up your first cut of what's ultimately going to become your weekly roster. And the name of the game here is uh, maximizing forward stationing or forward orienting of your pharmacist with uh, tech support at the rear and pharmacy assistant uh, support, uh, which we'll touch on uh, in, in a couple of seconds. All right, moving on. Now, there are four main steps to your rostering, having now um, completed the key components of your forward pharmacy uh, stationing for, for forward pharmacy service. So to, to this uh, foundation of, a, of an emerging roster, now fill the gaps, so to speak, with pharmacists stationed out the front, uh, tech stationed at the back, now fill the service counter and service gaps with pharmacy assistance so that you've covered off and got adequate resourcing of your service counters to deliver uh, the service model you aspire to. Think about this as now having right people um, at the right place at the right time. 
Now to that emerging uh, baseline or foundation uh, plan, which will ultimately become your roster, um, now add up to four task priorities per intersection of role type at station, station being a service counter or a workbench. Now you're at the place which we would call right people, right place at the right time, uh, doing the right things. Now, su uh, successively add to this plan the identity of names. Now you've got your first cut of your foundation weekly roster to which you can then add um, penalty rates, pay rates, penalty rates, and start to calculate wage costs by shift, uh, by day, by week. So that's the second piece of my golden triangle, but I urge you not to stop there. Uh, now there are eight main steps to your commercial target setting. Don't just stop at the wages and cost equation. Uh, take the step to turn that into the denominator of your ROE calculations and target setting. So firstly, determine the ROE benchmark you want to set, 1 to 1 1.5 to 1, 2 to 1, 4 to 1, across the category of products. I suggest if you're uh, focusing this effort just on the health part of your pharmacy, it would be all health categories within S3, S2 and unscheduled. Uh, equally well, if you're looking to uh, apply this rostering to your whole of business, then it may well be a good range of products out in the front of shop as well. Um, having done that, set your average price across the chosen categories, then set your average GP uh, percent across those cat categories. This is almost like plugging in your assumptions. Compute your target unit volume accordingly per shift, per day, per week, and communicate those targets to the team. Inspire, and motivate, and upskill them accordingly to host conversations that are going to achieve the dual benefit of a complete solution for your customers, as well as increasing uh, volume, basket size, add-ons, companions, etc., cetera, um, uh, in accordance with the complete solution and also uh, in accordance with raising profitability of the business. Um, communicate those targets to the team, inspire them, and then practice leadership, uh, what I would call immediacy. immediacy. Day by day, go into your dispensary, go into your soft, uh, point of sale software systems and pull up the actual results of unit volume transacted for that short term period and compare those against the target set. Communicate the performance to the team, whether that be in the team huddle the next morning, uh, morning tea break, but communicate the performance of actual versus target and again, uh, inspire, motivate, and upskill the team accordingly. And repeat this as an ever um, concentric upward spiral in the name of leadership and continuous improvement. All of this uh, must be done with the backdrop of script uh, GP percent approaching scorched earth as we know, and who knows what's going to happen after the King Review uh, is deliberated on by um, the relevant government stakeholders. Um, so your opportunity now is to create this total customer solution as well as a significant uh, boost to your business profit profitability um, by instituting this golden triangle. Linking your forward pharmacy service model with your rostering, with your commercial target setting. I hope that's provided some morsel of interest for you to uh, take to the team and debate in the name of advancing your forward pharmacy service model. As always, always happy to continue this conversation one-on-one -on, -one on the phone. But for now, I'm Glenn Guilfoyle from The Next Level and I look forward to coming back to you again next month. Bye for now.